Hello viewers. Today we are going to see what is product variation and how to import variation for WooCommerce products. So let's see what is product variation. We can provide product variation for WooCommerce product, but the product or should be assigned as a variable product in product data type. For this type, we can give attributes like color, size, style, materials, price, and other attributes. Product variations are associated with product attributes. So the product will display with different variation in our website. So let's see how to import product variation. Let's start with CSV file preparation. Here I have parent SKU, variation SKU, featured image and other fields in my CSV file. Parent SKU is my product SKU value. I have already imported some of the products in WooCommerce. This is my product SKU value. This value I have entered in my CSV file. Next variation SKU. Variation SKU is associated with parent SKU. Next featured image. Featured image is I have entered the value as image URL link for each variation. You can also add external or any other internal images. Product attribution name. Product attribution is where I have given two attributes color and size. These two attributes are separated with pipeline separator. For these attributes, I have given the attribute value as black and red for my color attribute and M and L as my size attribute. Next, product attribute visible. If you want to display your attribute in your website, you have to enter the value as one to be enabled. The same goes for the product attribute variation also. Then product attribute position, price, regular price, then sale price. Next custom attribute. Here we are going to give the value that will be displayed in our variation site with different variations. Next weight, length, height, width. These are my CSV file. Let's save this file in CSV format. Go to WordPress site. Here I'm going to click Ultimate CSV Importer Pro. Click Browse. Select your file. Here I am going to save my product, import each record as WooCommerce product variation. Click continue. Create new mapping. Then we are directed to the mapping fields. So let's check all the mapping fields. Some of the fields are already mapped automatically. If some of the fields missing, you can do it manually. So this is core fields. Next we are going to check product attribute fields. So this is the product attribute fields. In this field, 
my csv header already mapped automatically with wp fields let's check product meta fields in this meta fields we have the values as size sales price price regular price then weight length with height these fields are associated with the meta fields then click continue click import my data are being uploaded here once the upload is completed let's check our product so this is the product so these are the product name i have already had in my woocommerce product so this is the category and tags i have provided image gallery so let's check with our product variation and product attributes so here is my product sku value here my product is selected as a variable product so we can give attributes and variation for my product so let's check attributes here i have given color and size for my product these are imported here visible on the product page and used these both are enabled here because i have given value as 1 in my csv file let's check the variation here all the product variations are imported properly so let's check here we have the sku value this is the variation sku value i have given in my csv file each variation has each sku value this is say regular price sales price then with the height length all are imported so this is how we are going to import product variation thanks for watching